Well, what did the um, what did the team get out of last week's bye week? Uh, we got to clean up a lot of stuff and uh, work with some different opponents that we're going to face uh, coming along. So I thought it was a good, uh, successful week. But just, uh, I don't know, is healing the right word after you lose a tough game like that? I mean, what does the team kind of go through to get reinvigorated for the stretch drive? Uh, we, we try not to feel bad for ourselves. I mean, nobody else is going to feel bad for us. So uh, we just had to try to go back to work and uh, get back started. What are some things that um, excite you about going on to Jacksonville and uh, playing in this rivalry? Uh, you know, Jacksonville is also one of my favorite, game, favorite games I've ever been to. Uh, the stadium's really cool and uh, just the drive over there and the whole atmosphere. So I'm really excited and we get to play a good ball too. I know emotionally, most guys say you move past a loss after a day or two, but do you ever really move past it until the next game is played? Uh, I, I guess you could say that. It kind of happens a bad taste in your mouth until you're able to play again. So uh, it's a great opportunity to uh, kind of move on from it after coming into this week. What do you, say, what do you guys hope to show in this game that, that maybe you didn't show last game? Uh, we just hope to uh, play better, execute better on some of the stuff that we uh, worked on this, this past bye week and bring some of the stuff that we do in practice into the game. How does a running back ask for the ball more? Uh, when you get it, uh, run hard. You feel like you're running pretty pretty well right now? I mean, you feel good about where you're at this season? Uh, yes, sir, I do. You said you were catching 100 balls a day after practice. How is the receiving going for you? Where do you think you're at in that? Uh... I think I'm doing pretty well. Um, I got two balls thrown at me. I caught both of them. So, uh, <laughs> so if they keep throwing it to me, I keep catching them. Um, what type of challenges are there with uh, Florida's defensive line? Uh, Kirby was talking about it a good bit over in the press conference earlier. Uh, you know, they really do have a uh, really good defensive alignment, and uh, we'll have to execute like we, like we have to do every game. Uh, you know, and if we don't, it won't, it won't go well, and if we do, I think it will. It seemed like the run game was one of the few, I guess, bright spots out of LSU. So how does that kind of make you guys feel going forward, I guess, how you were able to perform against them? Uh, yeah, it gives us a lot of confidence moving forward. Uh, if we can do it versus LSU, if we can do it versus a lot of good teams in, uh, in the SEC. I think right after the game you said, you know, you, you wish y'all were getting out there on the field again. You know, what, what's the anticipation, you know, now that it is game week and knowing how well y'all did at LSU, you know, how excited are y'all to finally get back out there? I'm always very excited to play and it makes it even sweeter that, you know, that we're playing in Jacksonville versus uh, a big rival. Where's this the, the message after that game, LSU game, that all your goals are still out there and achievable kind of resonate? And... Yeah, I mean, yeah, it doesn't really make us feel better about the loss, but it just gives us a lot, of, uh, a lot of hope moving forward still, a lot to look forward to, a lot to play for. Where's this team's confidence level at right now? I think we're pretty confident. Uh, we're pretty confident what we can do when we execute. Uh, I think it all comes down to execution and uh, we're, we're putting the work in. And we'll continue to put the work in this week and hopefully it shows inside. Kirby said it sometimes it can be a little hard to get, get guys started after having a few days off like you guys have had. Um, but he also said that he thinks you all understand the stakes, like kind of how big this game is, what, what's at stake here. Is, is that, I mean, is that something that has been kind of related to something you guys are talking about, that, you know, this is kind of a must win stay in the East? Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, everybody everybody knows what's at stake. Everybody knows what we're playing for. Everybody knows where we want to go. So uh, as long as everybody's on the same page, and I think we are, I think we're going to be fine. Is college game day coming? Do y'all ever? I mean, does that make it seem bigger or anything? When you know, uh, I, I honestly didn't know that, but oh, yeah. you know, uh, it is what it is. At the end of the day, you gotta go play football. With stakes like that, how do y'all stay so even keel knowing, like the anticipation that was around LSU, now it's again around Florida as a must win. How do y'all stay even keel going into games? Uh, a lot of us have played in big games before, and uh, as we kind of look, you know, kind of go back to that and just kind of stay in that same mindset. So uh, we just, you know, it's just another game that we have to win. The Georgia notes show that for you guys, you know, are averaging over five yards at carry. You're, and we've talked before, you're over seven. I mean, it seems like, how, how would you assess the running game? It seems like it's been going pretty well. Yeah, I think it's going pretty well. Uh, we have very talented backs, and uh, we have a very, very massive and good old line. So uh, when you put those two together, it'll be good. And then, uh, you know, Kirby said after the last game, we should, probably should have gotten those guys more touches. I mean, I guess when you only get seven or eight carries, uh, did it feel like, well, I wish I would gotten it more. I know the, you have to leave that up to the coaches, but. Yeah, like I said, I leave that up to the coaches. When I get the ball, I just try to run hard as I can. 
How have you improved your game from last year, especially now averaging seven and a half yards a carry? Uh, I think uh, I think I've, I've been able to be a little bit more patient and uh, kind of see see things a little bit easier. The game's kind of slowed down a little bit, so I think that helps a lot. And uh, I think I've gotten bigger, faster, and stronger since last year as well. You had a nice touchdown run at the end of last year's game. How how excited are you? It's kind of like the same song as it's been all year. Now you are going to get out there really, really early against these guys. How excited are you to get, you know, to have this kind of stage to show what you can do? Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. You know, like I said, this uh, this the stadium and the atmosphere and all the fans there and the split in between the half and half is it's amazing. It's amazing to play in, and I'm very, very excited. What would you tell a freshman that hadn't experienced the split that you're talking about? What's the best advice you got three years ago, and what would you tell them? Uh, I mean, there's no way to really tell them about it, but other than when they walk in and see it for themselves, you know, you just you look at it, and then you just got to kind of just say, okay, we're just, it's just another game. You know what I'm saying? You got to kind of put that in your head. But I can't lie, I was it, it did kind of shock me at first, the first time I saw it. Do you pay any attention in a game? I mean, there's – Every game's so big anyway, but I mean, this is nine versus seven, and there's a lot on the line when it comes to the Eastern Division. There's nowhere to hide from that. Do you embrace that or do you ignore it? You know? Uh, you know, everybody's different in the way they want to uh, take it on, but uh, I kind of embrace it, and you know, I like, I like, I like playing big games. I think uh, it brings the best out of people. I, uh, I'm excited. Did you ever meet Todd Grantham when you were in high school? You're facing a defensive coordinator that used to be here. Uh, no, I'm, I'm never, uh, I'm never met him. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's weird though facing a guy that used to be here as far as their defense? Uh, I mean, not really for me because, like I said, I, I really don't, I don't know. But uh, mm -hmm. Elijah, y'all have had trouble getting off to hot starts. How big is it would be to get off to a good? Fast start this time. Uh, I think I think it will be big going into the game. Uh, we we'll try to we we'll try to work on those openings a little bit more this, this week and uh, try to really focus on coming out fast and, and playing strong all the way through. Elijah, have you had a bad game this year? It seems like all all your games have been pretty consistent and pretty good. Is there uh, one game you were disappointed with? Uh, there's games I, I think I could have done stuff better. But, uh, you know, I, I try to continue to do better, better every game, so I try to get better every game. Well, as you guys, you know, won pretty easily against Florida last year. How much, uh, you know, when you watch film, how much different do they look, uh, given, uh, you know, the time with you guys in the East of Man, you know, what do you, what do you see on the other side of the ball versus what you saw last year? Uh, I thought they were pretty good last year as well. I thought we got to a, got off to a really good start and kind of uh, kind of calmed down. But uh, I think this year they are they're playing really hard and they're playing real physical ball. And uh, they got a lot of good playmakers on defense, so I think that's helping them out a lot right now. ESPN did a pretty good uh, uh, segment, a uh, feature on you and your dad. I, I think it's the most I've seen you really talk about him since really recruiting. It's, it's something like almost like you, it seems like uh, I'll get you to answer this, but that you sort of, like, I want to be myself now. But he said one thing in that I thought was great. He said, well, he used to be, he's, you know, a Vandrew boy, and now it's I'm Elijah's father. Do you feel like uh, there's a there's a transition taking place right now between your college career and your father, obviously, you know, getting farther and farther from his retirement? Uh, you know, uh, right now I'm not really focused on that at the time, but uh, I, I think I think it, it could possibly be that way. But uh, like I said, right now I'm just focused on that. I don't know if you remember last year, um, I remember talking to some of your teammates, maybe former teammates, about a meeting that you guys sat in and Kirby asked the team about, hey, then you guys have beaten Florida Santa and nobody did. Um, what's the message this week that might be similar to something like that? Or maybe is he talking about winning records against Florida? Uh, more so than anything, he just, he's, he's just told us what's at stake. And we all kind of know uh, it's a big time game. It's, uh, it has a lot of really do. Whoever wins this game will be in the front seat in the East. And, uh, are you feeling the magnitude of that, of having to win to be in the driver's seat? Uh, yes, we all, we all do, but uh, you know, we, we played a big time game before, and we're excited to play another one. How much, a, how much does confidence play in the football period in, in this rivalry? Uh, com confidence is a big, uh, is a big key. I think. Florida's really confident, and I think we're really confident, so we'll, we'll see. You didn't lose any confidence because of the way things went down in, in uh, Baton Rouge? No, I don't think we lost any, lost any confidence. I have confidence in all my teammates, and I, I, I think all my teammates have confidence in me. So I think we're still confident, and we just know we have to execute. We just realize that if you don't execute, first really good teams, you get beat. And when you, you, know, you do, you win. Elijah, how busy do you think you'll be in pass protection this week, given given how good Florida is off the edge and how many sacks they've been racking up? Uh, yeah, it'll be very important to see the right spots and uh, have the right mic IDs and stuff like that. And uh, I think I think we'll do really, we've, we've done really well in practice with it so far. And uh, I think that as long as we're on the same page, we'll be okay.
What stands out to you about Florida's defense? I would say definitely the speed of their defense is probably what stands out most to me. Did you guys really hear a wake up call after the game last week to for right now? I mean, uh, Johnson talked about that. He thought they, that the defense did, and Andrew kind of agreed with what you. What's your thoughts on that? About the team needing to wake up? Uh, yeah, I would say uh, I would say we needed one, but it definitely woke us up for sure. So uh, uh, we're awake and we know what's at stake now. So what, what, one more what question was, for Elijah. What was lacking? That I mean, obviously failure to execute enough, but there's something that leads to failure to execute. Uh, I think, you know, it's just it's just a whole bunch of things. I can't think you put it on any one thing. We all just didn't play our best game. And when you got to go you gotta go to somebody else's house, you know, in, in house of territory, I feel like you have to play your best game to win. Nice